Hey everyone, in this video, we will learn how to use an OR expression in Power BI, so let's start. I've got this file open here with me, and I've also uploaded this file to GitHub, so you can download the file and do the tutorial along with me, should you wish to. Uh, I've left the link to the file in the video notes. So let's say I want to find out all, so this is the dim geography, which gives me the country, the city name, and so on. And let's say I want to find all the rows where the country code is either US or either it's Great Britain. Uh, so I'll just go here and I'll click on new column. And I've got some DAX code which I'll copy paste. So I'll just copy paste from here and I'll show you what I mean. So all I'm saying is I'm calling it it's US or G Great Britain. And I'm saying, saying that or. And you can see the or uh, takes two. So one, so you give the first condition. So you're giving two conditions here, which are separated by the comma in here. So you're saying the first condition is either the country code is US or the country code is Great Britain. So the or starts after the comma. So if it's either US or Great Britain, give me a one, otherwise give me a zero. So now I'll just go and hit enter here. So it's like, let's just think of this as a flag for us. And now you can see, so at the moment it is showing us all the countries. So let's just, I'm just going to show you all this. So it's giving us all these countries, but let's just say if I go ahead and filter for um, one and take zero out. And you can all of a sudden see, let's see what country codes are available to us. So it's just US and Great Britain. And then I can see the state province name and so on and so forth. Or let's say, let's go back here again. And I'll say anything which is not US or GB, we just select a zero, take the other one off and hit OK. And you go again, scroll to the right, and you can see it is giving us all the countries, Australia, Canada, Denmark, and France. Uh, so in this video, we've essentially learned how to use the OR condition uh, in, in DAX, and we've learned it in Power BI. So I hope you find this video useful, and thanks for watching this video. Uh, please do subscribe to my channel and like my videos if you enjoy what I'm doing. Cheers. Bye.